Proverbs 31, verse 10, and verses 27 through 28. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Good day, everyone. I am off to get some food before, for dinner, before the drive. So I gotta go over there, eat pretty quick, get back. I'll try to leave in about 30 minutes, so I should be fine. Okay, just, and I'll see you with you guys in a bit. What? What? All right. Um. So, whoop, almost dropped my phone. So I just got done watching Agents of Shield, the two-hour season finale. Um, I thought I had another episode or two to go. Uh, I also thought tonight was the season finale of The Flash, and it wasn't. There's another episode next week. Um, for The Flash, it was a good episode. Um, they addressed and resolved quite a few things while still creating a little bit of a situation that they're going to deal with next season. It's pretty good, um, unless it comes out in the last episode. <laughs> um, there's no way to know for sure because there's still another episode, and like I said, they resolved a lot of stuff, so we'll have to see. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., two hours long. Oh, wow. I don't know what to say. Um, it was a lot of action, very intense. Lots of things happened, um, good and bad, both. But most of the things seemed to be resolving really nicely, setting up for what was clearly... Uh, going to be the end of the season, and who knows what's going to happen next season. Um, and then in the last, and I kid you not, I don't know how, I mean, they did it. Um, the last three seconds of the episode. Insane what they did. And it's just a big giant question mark to end the season. And I'm not going to go into detail sides, just um, there's going to be a surprise coming if you watch the show. It's just going to be like, what? That was literally, I was just like, I was speechless. My jaw just dropped, eyes wide, just staring at the TV. Uh, basically, they, did, they went through the credits and everything. Um, and I was just like, the whole time. And I had to go back and watch. I watched it like, since it was only three seconds, I watched it like 15 times just to like try to wrap my head around it. And I still don't understand what the implications are behind it because it was a very vague concept that they hadn't really answered all that well. So, intriguing to say the least. Um, but we'll have to see. And then they said that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agent Carter. We'll be back next season, so there will be a season two of Agent Carter as well, which is good. The question is how long we have to wait. Um, I'm trying to remember, did it come? It came out in like September, October. Agents of Shield did, and then they took that break to um, time things with the, the race of Avengers. Odds are they're doing the same thing next May when Captain America comes out. Captain America three Civil War. And they'll probably set it up again for that. It's interesting. We'll have to see. Alright, I'm going to um, watch this one thing. And then sign off for the night. So I caught up with the TV. I'll tell you, my, I'll tell you about my evening a little bit. And I'll see you guys in then. Alright. So, my... Evening has been. It was at the drive, obviously. There was a guest speaker, um, and they uh, originally I was 
supposed to be, I'm part of the welcome team. So originally I was supposed to be um, on the name tag table um, for the returning people, not for the first timers. Um, and they decided they wanted to use me where I kind of just automatically used myself last week as kind of an usher. Um, and this time I had the support of a few other people who were trying to make sure I got what I needed to make so we can see what we can do. Because the way it's set up is there are tables everywhere and the front row of tables are really close right up near the um, not quite near the stage but there's a little area in front of the stage that they do the announcements the person of the week um, and the message itself is all down on the floor in front of the stage and so and the staggering of the tables that we have the way they are um, has one table directly in front of to where basically if you were to sit all the way around that table one person would have their back to the person speaking and the, they could literally reach out and touch them um, and so what happens is everyone goes in they sits where they sit wherever they want and then people come in late and they don't want to go sit um, they don't want to wander up through the time if if they're doing person of the week or announcements and everyone's sitting down they don't want to wander their way through standing up while everyone else is sitting down but you can see where the empty seats are but when everyone's standing up worshiping you can't really see where there are empty seats and so everyone just stays in the back and then generally what happens is then when it's time to sit down they pull out a bunch of chairs and let them sit down and then they create their own circle instead of a table time um, and so we're uh, I was trying to come up with ideas to prevent that from happening. Um, for the most part it did, except they had these other tables set up in the back for one reason or another, and they kept the chairs out. And, and if we had put the chairs away, then maybe people wouldn't have been doing it. But because that was, there were chairs in the back, there were ta little tables in the back, some people wanted to sit there. And so they did, instead of... Um, moving in with everyone else and so and then they started the they had this awkward shaped circle in the end because um, a few other people came in after I gave up on ushering uh, when the message started and worked my way up to a table in the front because no one else was up there basically um, so like I said working on little ideas for trying to make it like I thought maybe we have a row of tables in the back that we trying to keep the everyone from sitting in when they first come in and so I'm like if we could hide them behind the, the black curtain that they have set up kind of off to the sides in the back if we could actually put tables behind that and then once the space has been filled if we need to we pull that curtain we pull the things holding the curtain back and the curtain along with it and there are some more tables and only do that once we fill the front tables and also maybe move everything back a little those are my ideas um, I shared it with the guy who um, does who seems to do most of the setup although it's not his call but I just shared it with him and we'll see if it works better next week or whatever if they ask me to do that again I'm willing to um, the ushering part but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe they'll try to, to give me the, the, that role permanently and I'll have to c create a team of my own or something. I don't know. So, yeah, then we went to Chick-fil-A afterwards and hung out a little bit with the group. Um, it was good times. Alright, I'm going to close it here because I'm tired. and I was watching, I was going to watch one more thing. I wound up watching two more things. <laughs> Time got away from me is quarter three I should have come back I should have paused it come back here and started this processing a long time ago oh well this last clip right here just past five minutes so I'm gonna say good night everyone and I'll see you tomorrow bye